Hey guys, this is Ebony Porter Ike, founder of Coinology. And today we're gonna to start off with our Coinology Minute. Um, our topic for today is all about income streams. Um, many of the people that I talk to are very, very frightful of this conversation because most of us are only operating with one income stream. Whether you have a nine to five job or you own your own business, it is never a safe thing to only have one income stream because when something happens, and it's not if, it is truly when something happens, you need to be able to have another form or another place to be able to supplement your income. If not, um, things that turn bad can go worse very fast. So today we're gonna to talk about eight, eight, eight income streams. The very first income stream we're gonna talk about is earned income. This is the income stream the majority of us have. That's the one that most of us understand the most. It's the income from working a job. And understand that this is also for you if you are an entrepreneur or business owner and you just work at your, your company. Because understand that even though you're a business owner or, or, or entrepreneur, if you have to come into the office or come into a place or your company is reliant on you operating, you have an earned income job. So it doesn't matter that you own your own company it's still considered earned income. Entrepreneurs are individuals who create ideas or opportunities that do not require them or their movement. We'll talk a little bit more about that a little later. But your first area of earned income is working a nine to five. And that's most of us. Most of us will mark that off without a problem, okay? Our second area, our second um, area of income is profit income. And that is income from buying and selling. So for those of you guys who like to dabble in the stock market, for those who like to buy homes and flip them and turn around and sell them for a profit, real estate is great. Stocks, bonds are great. Those are all opportunities for you to be able to check off that second area of an income stream, again, which is your profit income, okay? Number three, interest income. Let's talk a little bit about that. That is income from lending money. Now, understand that our whole goal should be to become the lender and not the borrower. But many of us have not gotten to that point yet and we have to work to the point of being able to have the disposable income in which you can make your money work for you. See, this whole thing is all about not being held hostage by money but allowing money to actually generate itself for you, okay? So when we say interest income, that's in the place where um, someone needs to, you want to be a, a, a silent investor or you want to lend money to a family member or something of that magnitude, you gain interest on that money that was borrowed and lent. And so you didn't have to do anything for that and you obtain additional funds for lending your money. So that's number three. So again, we've talked about the earned income. We've talked about profit income. We've talked about interest income, all right? Number four, residual income, okay? Residual income is when you continue to get paid after the work is done. This is Optimo. So this is a great way for you to get make money while you're sleeping. When you hear people talk about, oh, I want to hear my paypal bling while i'm sleeping and so forth this is where you want to be as, as a business owner or even if you work a nine to five being able to come up with some type of idea that would allow you to continue to get residual income from it whether it's from a product or service whether it's from affiliate marketing network marketing etc it's all about getting a product some type of product that will allow you to have residual income from that after the work is done you put the work in you put in the hours now it's years later and you're still being paid off of that work that is smart that's working smart so that's one of the things you should be trying to accomplish next is dividend income and this is income from owning stocks all right so you own stocks and some people may get this a little confused a little bit from um the profit income because remember profit income is more so from a real estate perspective, uh, but dividend income is when you actually 
um, have bought a, a few shares, you want to sell them, you want to cash out, or you are getting um, a res income coming in from actually having these. Another great form of dividend income is also uh, found in um, life insurance policies. There's specific type of policies that you can purchase that will fall under this, that will also provide you with the dividend income that would be very optimal. I would definitely highly recommend that you contact your financial advisor and ask more about that, okay? Rental income. So rental income is all around real estate. Again, if you heard me say real estate before, I'm saying it again. Real estate is one of the best investments that you can have as long as you can maintain and keep up with it. But with rental income, that's primarily money that's coming in from commercial properties, from rental properties, um, from land, etc. Rental income is extremely important and, and very profitable in the event that you do it right. Um, many people are able to uh, purchase like strip malls or so forth and be able to open up their business in the in the property in which they own and the other businesses are paying for it. Or there are um, individuals who actually purchase uh, apartment complexes and they live rent free because they own the apartment complex and then individuals are actually um, paying rent for you to live for free in your apartment complex. So again, rental income is another form. Capital gains is number seven. Assets increasing in value. So let's talk about that. I think some of you guys may have heard uh, Jay-Z talk about in 444 about how he purchased artwork um, and how it he may have purchased it initially for let's say 100,000 and today is worth a million dollars. That's what we mean by capital gains. When you purchase something that is an asset that appreciates over time. Most of us have liabilities and we don't know it. Most of us have car notes and um, you know expensive designer bags or um, certain type of jewelry, except those things are not considered uh, capital gains. Those are considered liabilities. Um, so you have to be sure that uh, when you're purchasing things um, that you are looking at whether or not I am too heavy on uh, liabilities and not enough over on assets. So that's important. Looking for opportunities to be able to make purchases on things that will generate um, increase over time, which means a profit over time. Artwork is great for that. Sometimes you can get... Um, some of these antique cars that appreciate over time, but that's only specific ones that do that. Um, you know, that is all about looking to make sure you're purchasing things that will increase over time and not depreciate. Most cars, the moment you drive them off of the car lot is depreciated in value, simple and plain. I don't care how much you love it. I don't care how much you want to have it. You have to ask yourself, is that a, a wise purchase? And then lastly, royalty idea, royalty income. And that's income from others using your idea. Primarily, let's talk about franchises. So let's say that you've created a process that works and it works very well. You receive royalty for it. Or someone wants to use your name likeness, royalties for it. Let's say you want to create a, um, a training program or a coaching program that has trademarked uh, procedures that you will be offering. That again is a royalty program. This is also a way for you to continue to make money off of your name, your likeness, your brand, um, brain power. If you guys notice that all the things I mentioned listed except for number one requires you to use a lot of your brain. It's all about making the money work for you and not you working for the money. The only one of these that require you to work for the money is number one, the earned income, okay? So we wanna make sure that we're being wise and we're being smart, that as we're making purchases and as we're moving into a new phase, a new decade, that we're being conscious about what it is that we're doing and that we are specifically lining ourselves up to, uh, you know, have these eight income streams. Let's say that maybe eight isn't attainable. Maybe seven isn't attainable, but let's try for three. Uh, whatever you possibly can do to try to um, stabilize your situation and actually be able to increase your earning potential. So that is our quick second, our quick coinology minute. 
It is all about income streams. So we'll check with you again for next week. Thank you for joining. And again, my name is Ebony Porter Ike, and we will see you on the other side. Thank you.